Hey, I'm Steve and in this video I'm going to show you how to simulate long exposure water in your photos without using a tripod or special gear, all inside of Luminar Neo. This technique is a great way to turn regular water shots into something soft, dreamy and atmospheric. So let's get started. So this is the original image that I'm working on today. Usually I'm working with photos from South Korea, but this one is from my trip back to the UK at the start of the year. And it's the Langston water mill all the way down in the South of England. Um, I've already cropped it down and straightened it up a little. And what I actually want to do is uh, turn this photo into one of those black and white shots with the long exposure effect on the water. So let's head into the black and white tool so we can quickly convert it. And then we will play around with the hues the luminance of those hues i think we want to keep the darker tones in the wall and the the mill at the back there and keep the lighter tones on the roof like so that looks good and then into develop where we can boost the contrast some more and bring down the highlights a bit and a bit of fine tuning then on the tone curve as well all right that looks good i think we can do one more thing close that down let's head down to details and what we'll do is bring in some of the smaller details like so bring in a bit of sharpness in those areas and that looks good so to achieve the water blur shot in your image the first thing you need to do is go and duplicate the base layer so up to the left hand side here we get to right click and click duplicate layer and then layer properties will open up and it's here that we're going to make a mask so select the brush tool and paint over the area that you want to include in this layer, which of course is the water. So I'm gonna brush over that. There we go. All right then. So with that done, we can now do the motion blur effect. So head down to creative, give that a close, head down to creative and open up the blur tool. So in here we have four options and we're going to be using the motion blur effect and then we're going to increase that all the way up and you are going to want to have this on at a very high value, somewhere between 90 to 100. And the next thing that you're going to need to do is adjust the angle. So if you're working on a waterfall, say for example, you're going to want to have that all the way to 90. But with us working here with uh, horizontal motion with the water, we're going to go for zero. Bit more that you can do with the motion blur effect to make it look even more convincing. And that's going to be to head down to the structure tool. And usually I go to the right here to add clarity and detail. But what we're going to do is go all the way to the left and then bring it back to an, air, an area that you think uh, is appropriate for your image, which for me is minus 21 here. That looks good. And then I just want to make the shadow more dense. So let's go to develop tool and just boost these shadows a bit or decrease them rather. And let's also work with the blacks too. Let's bring them down. I want the reflection of the mill here to be much stronger. So we're doing that with the shadow and blacks tool. And that looks fine. Okay, I think that's all done. Let's take a look at a before and after. I'm very happy with that. So there we go. That's how you can get the long exposure effect then for water without a tripod. And that means you can go back through your archive of photos and find all of those shots where you think a tripod might have benefited. You can go and try this out for yourself. Remember to combine the motion blur tool with the structure tool as that will allow you to bring more softness into the water and also try to deepen the shadows as well to give it more of a realistic effect. So I hope you found that tutorial useful and if you did drop us a like and a comment and don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on everything Luminar Neo and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.